boy, the eclipse has started already. I got, I got cameras watching. I got, I got a polar filter on my camera right now. Yeah, I, I got no way to. Hope everybody's doing good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the bullpen. Let me try to get this going. Hey, Barton, you're having the eclipse right now. Put no, it. I'm trying to find it. Look ahead. I did. But I was trying to find Sandy. Uh, she hasn't come out yet. There it is. Yeah, that's why I just. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, the, the eclipse has already started. Trying, trying to get, trying to get pictures of it. Hope you guys are having a good day. Wherever you guys are at, be safe, be happy. Kind of hard to do two things at once. <laughs> very, very exciting to do everything. Um, let, let me put the... There we go. Let, let me put the link out. Richard's push is, I think he's trying to come on. The, the total eclipse is supposed to be happening at um, 
May 2, 2 o'clock. We're having like a dusk um, experience right now. I'm looking at my um, phone. My phone is live. My GoPro is live. I got another camera that's live. Flying Circus, welcome to the bullpen. It's a little bit cloudy outside. Trying to see if the camera will. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Hey, John. Let, let, let me see if the camera will will adjust outwards. But but the camera will follow me. But I don't want the camera to follow me. I want the camera to go up to the sky. I got a filter from my um from from John's um 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 I forgot his name, but from from the um uh, drone. <laughs> that that's why it looks like this. Mm. And I'm trying to get the the eclipse. But the camera is, is fighting. How you doing, John? Hope hope you guys can see see everything okay. Let me put the glasses on to see if I can see it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's almost covered up right now. Oh, the eclipse is already finished. It, um, it's already pulling away now. But right there's the sun. Yeah, the, the eclipse is already pulling, pulling away from it. Yeah, I just put the glasses over over it to see if you can see.
Pretty interesting, you guys. I hope you guys will be able to see whatever you can see wherever you're at. Very, very interesting. We didn't get no total darkness. It just looks like a early morning sunrise. But yeah, very interesting. Not too often you get to see the eclipse and and everything that goes with it. But yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Philip, how you doing, my friend? I tried, tried to show a glimpse of the eclipse. But yeah, it didn't work out very well. How you guys doing? We're, we're doing an outside show. Trying, trying to get, trying to get a, a part of it, a piece of it. Got a, got a whole bunch of different cameras that I, I was using. And we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens late, later on. But again, you can't, doesn't hurt to try. That, that, that's what counts is, is, is how much you tried. Uh, how you doing? How you doing, Phil? We got John. We got Flying Circus in the house. We got four people watching. Thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. It was. There we go. Go go back to regular camera. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Again, again, it, it was fun trying. Um, yeah, over in um, Mexico. Yeah, now now it's going up towards where Richard is is up up at. There we go. I was using the GoPro. This one has has a, a solar, no, it, it's called a polar filter on it. So, yeah, it should be, so it should be pretty good. Take off the filter. But yeah. Yeah, all, all all my all my toys did become useful. <laughs> put put my put my filter back on. There we go. 
Oh. Yeah, the sun. What time is it? Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Well, it, it, it's what it's one fifty two. There we go. It, it, it's one fifty two, and 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 the eclipse supposed to started at at two o'clock. Maybe I jumped the gun. <laughs> So yeah, at at two o'clock, the uh, the um, solar eclipse was supposed to start. Hey Ben. Got 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 excited. <laughs> ah, John's making grilled cheese. That that's always nice. Hey Philip, if you wanna, you wanna come up, you're you're welcome. I got the link out. Oh John, if you wanna come up and oh you're cooking, but if if Phil wants to come up and say hey. Yeah, pretty, pretty soon it, it should be um, total eclipse. I was wrong. We're all wrong sometimes. Not all the time, but once in a while we're, we're wrong. Hey, Phil. Wrong on the time. I was wrong on the time. It starts in like uh, three minutes. One fifty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here, here. It's one fifty-five. Yeah. Well, three more minutes. It'll start at one fifty-eight. Only last three minutes. You'll. It'll enter, blocking the sun at one fifty-eight, and it'll go out at two o one. It'll be leaving out of the sun at two o one. Are, are you back in the U.S.? No, I'm in Vietnam, but I was checking on it to uh. see what time it, what time it was going to be yesterday, and for some reason yesterday it said something about eight fifty eight, and I'm thinking what the fuck, and then now I double checked and it says one fifty eight. It starts, so you'll see the semicircle entering the sun at one fifty eight, and then at two o one you'll see the semicircle exiting. Yeah, uh, all together it's supposed to be like four minutes. Yeah, yeah, uh, three minutes. Like yeah, but pretty pretty exciting. If you've never seen it before, this is my second time seeing yeah, it. Too. Yeah, me too. I saw yeah, it when, yeah. I a, when I was a kid. Well, you you yeah. seen it when you was in Chicago, right? Yeah, when I was a kid, they had us well, looking to. Where, where were you seven years ago? No, I saw. I didn't see that one. I missed that one. I was sleeping. But the one before that, I was huh? a kid, we. Uh, <laughs> we punched a, we punched a hole in a box and we put our head in the box and put a piece of paper on the other side of the box and you can see it that way without hurting your eyes. Make sure you don't yeah. screw your eyes up, man. Oh, I, I got I got I got um, all of us got these glasses for it. Yeah, you gotta have Walders. You're supposed to have Walders glasses, man. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's almost doing it right now. Yeah, set your camera up, man. I don't know if it'll blind us, but uh, put that polar lens on there, man. Yeah, I do got a polar one on this one. Yep, set it up. Get it ready, man. You got like uh, one more minute, man. It's going to start. Yeah, let me let me turn it. Then you'll look like me. 
Then then you'll look like me for about nope. three minutes. Yeah. Okay. I'm Good. sitting by my I'm sitting by my balcony here. I'll show you. I'll, I'll brighten it up. I'm sitting by my balcony here having a cigarette because I'm trying to get okay. my time. Right. I'm trying to get my time right for the United States because I only got like uh, nine more days then I'll be back. Oh, now you're gonna go back to Chicago? Yeah, and then no, I'm coming back. I gotta check on the house. I make sure my brother didn't screw up the boiler in the house and. Get my car registered so they don't tow the son of a bitch away, and I'm, uh, I got to do some VA appointments. You know, if I didn't have to get my boosters and have my car registered, I just, I wouldn't even have went back. You, know. uh, you got to come down and visit me. Well, you're going to leave in September, right? Yeah. Yeah. What day in September? You plan yet? Because I'm thinking about late September. Oh, I don't know. Uh, um. Um. Okay, well, we could go together. Yeah, well, Billy Jack's supposed to be going, too, so. Yeah, that'd was, be cool. We were thinking about going hunting in October, he talked to me. We, he said something about hunting. I said, don't wait till October. I said, let's leave, like, the end of September, you know. That's about the best time to come over here. Because you figure the first time you come, Kev, you want to get that Alliance, that Alliance medical insurance, cheap, 45 bucks, 48 bucks, whatever. Yeah. Covers you for well, what a month. Months. Yeah, oh, well, it's come okay. For six, come for six months the first time, and all the money you'll save up, you'll have enough ticket to go back and then go back for a while and then come back for the second time. You know, I'm figuring that's the best way to travel here now is not to live here, but just to stay here for six months at a time, six, eight months at a time, and then go back. You know, there, there's the sun. Yeah, well, it should be entering the, the, the sun. Like right now, it's already 159. It should be entering it. Maybe the, maybe the moon's late, huh? Yeah, it's getting darker. Yeah, because you're like right in the center of the path, and it goes. No, forward. we're we're on the we're on the side of the path. Well, it says on the map that I was looking at, it's going to pass right over the top. Of you there's what it said. No, I don't know. We yeah, got where where you get a partial. Now, one Evan. Here. Yeah, Evansville will be. Um, hey, Richard. The, the center, they'll, they'll get a partial one in Vietnam next year. The main part, oh, nice. of the, main, the main part of the one next year goes over Antarctica. Who the fuck's going to go to Antarctica to see it? Huh? Uh, yeah, it, it's almost, it's almost. Yeah. Maybe Kenjam, maybe Kenjamin was right. You know, maybe something's going to happen. <laughs> no. Nah. The moon's gonna fall out of the sky and aliens are gonna come down. Huh? I, I watched your last chat, I rewatched it, you know, with Benjamin on there. And Gogus. Yeah. Gogus yeah. is a cool dude, man. He's like he likes rock and I roll. I thought so. He, he likes rock Mr. and roll. He likes, he's more of a Kylan type guy, but he likes rock and roll and drinking beer. Man. This is what it looks like right now. But I do get a filter on. Mm -hmm. But this is what it looks like. Starting to get dark already, huh? Yeah. Can you put that camera up at the at the sun without going blind or no? It should black most of it out. Yeah, it didn't. But this is what it looks like with the um with, with the fil with the filter pretty dark out.
I mean, the next time it happens, it's supposed to be like, what, 70 years next time, right? You missed a good life. Um, 20, 20, 20 something years. I'll be 80 years old the next time. You missed it. You missed a good live stream last night with Harriet. Well, it'd be noon your time. There was some good oh. time on this. Some simp guy, Clive, telling the story about he paid a 10,000 peso taxi ride to where he was going in Manila. It was fucking hilarious, man. Ricky, Ricky Drama had, had a show last night and um, Frank was on. Well, it would have been noon. Pretty... It, would, it would have been noon your time yesterday because it was midnight here. You know. With Harriet, you know Harriet's a uh, Harriet's a hootie anyway, man. Fuck, yeah, I, got I, I know who she is. I put that uh, link that I sent you in Messenger there. I put that on my uh, uh, my community tab to that uh, huh. tape show, that tape show with the black electric tape. Fuck, I got yeah. three hundred. I got three hundred new subscribers in like a day and a half, man. Nice. I I can monetize right now if I want to. How do you link your bank account? You just sign up for the AdSense and link it right to your bank account? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Yeah, says this it is takes, how dark it is. It says it takes three weeks to approve it. Okay. Because I got enough watch hours and I, I now I got like backup. I was up to 1,500 at one time. And now I got like about 12, 1,200 or 1,300, something around there. I was checking with people. I said, who's buying me fucking subs, man? And then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. Uh, buying me fucking subs? And then I checked and I thought, what the hell could be making my thing jump up so high, right? It was that link I posted, man. People are coming here and watching that strip show, man, and they're fucking subbing to my channel. You, know? you go to the community tab and tap on that link, and they still got the show. They got I got another link in there, too. It's the L.A. Fashion Show with the fucking black tape and shit, man. They oh. might as well. I'd like to have that guy's job putting the tape on. Yeah. Well, we got nine people watching. Thank you guys for coming out. Hey, Richard. Let me put the well, glasses I just, on. I was, I was just on YouTube screwing around with the analytics and shit, man. And I seen you went live and I said, fuck it. I'm going to come on and see what he's doing. Quit sending me them stupid goddamn clips, man. <laughs> but yeah, the sun's coming back now. If if now send, it's stuck in the light. If you send me some of your shit, it's okay, but don't be sending me them stupid goddamn shorts, man. Fuck that crap. <laughs> You're welcome. I get the fucking notifications. I go, what the hell's going on? And all of a sudden there's some stupid video there. Uh, hey Mr. Yeah, Bruiser. Hello, my friend. Bruiser. Did you see the eclipse, Bruiser? Is, is he back in the in the states? I don't fucking know. I'm I'm oh. the one that's in the eclipse. I'm in the eclipse over here. See, he's light. You know, I'm I'm. Here, look, the sun just came out, and now the sun's going back. See, it's gone that quick. Yeah. Man, I had me one of the best bond me. The eclipse was wonderful. I uh -huh. put a short up. I put a short up today uh, about the bon mi sandwich, man. And I oh, took nice. a big bite. I ate about half of it. It was only uh, one dollar. I took a bite and had all the pork and the eggs and shit in there with the vegetables, man. And I showed a picture of what it looks like half eaten, man, with all the shit inside of it, man, for a dollar. Do you like those sandwiches? Well, I did today. I was one of the best, and it was off the street. You know, I usually don't eat street food, but this guy checked the out. So this guy's got clean food here, man. I went there, charged me twenty five thousand Vietnamese dong. That's one dollar. So when I was leaving from the Circle K, instead of buying their shit and spending all my money because they're more expensive, right? I went back to his cart and got one to go. The only thing I bought at the Circle K today was uh. The fuck a bag of chips to go with the sandwich and uh and a couple of cans of well you got two cans for a dollar and the third one was free so you got three cans of coca-cola light for a dollar took See, a picture the that's the thing you save so much money coming over here you save enough for the ticket coming here and the ticket going back so it really doesn't cost you fucking nothing you know 
How much was the ticket going there? The ticket coming here was only four hundred and something. The ticket going back is five sixty five, and that's with all the assistance from uh, Trip dot com. Well, that's pretty cheap for a ticket yeah. to go there. Yeah, from from Ho Chi Minh City, that it takes you about another eighty. If you can get deals. Oh from no! There. How much? I'm, I mean, how much was your ticket to for, from um, the U.S.? Yeah, it was cheaper. It was like only four hundred and something. Well, that's decent. They always get you on the way back, though, man. But on the way back, I'm paying like five sixty-five exactly, and that's with the extra eighteen dollars for assistance from Trip.com if they fuck up something or whatever, if they lose my fucking oh. uh, boxes of uh, my boxes of my communist shirts and my Vietnamese shirts that I'm bringing back. <laughs> I'm going to go to the pub wearing a fucking Soviet t-shirt and see what they do. That's funny. I would have bought some elephant pants. I'm I still might get them, but the only thing I don't like them, they're like sweatpants. There's no zipper in the front, man. If you want to piss, you got to pull them all the way down to piss. Well, well yeah. They got a drawstring. It's like, it, they're like sweatpants. It's like elephant prints up, but they're real lightweight, real lightweight. Fuck, it was the coolest day in the last two weeks today. It got only up to like 95. It's been like 110 every fucking day, man, with the heat index, you know? Hey, Richard, do you want to come up? What time is it over there, uh, Phil? Right now, it's 2.09 in the morning. I'm trying to stay up all night now so that when I get back, my time's right. So I'm waking up in the daytime instead of waking up in the middle of the fucking night, you know? Because I only got like mm -hmm. nine more days. And plus it's been and, hot. So this way here, I go out in the morning at about five. I go down to the coffee shop, get me something to eat, stay out till about eight in the morning, and then I come home and go to sleep. So that'd be good. Like my going total to eclipse. Uh, and, and, and how much how much were you paying for your um, apartment? Oh, this place there is cheap, man. It's, and it's like a, it's like a condo tell. They give you fresh towels if you want them every day, you know. I just tell them every other day is good enough. I can use a towel twice, you know. Shit yeah, paper, yeah. everything included, you know, fucking air con included, Wi-Fi, $10.50 a day for a condo tell with a balcony. Do you get a pool? No, no, there's no fucking pool for $10.50. Come on. You can go to uh, Nachang, and for about $100 for seven days, you can get a pool and a gym and everything. It, that's on the beach, if you like the beach. It depends on what city you live in. See, I'm in District 7 right now, Kev. This is Koreatown. A lot of rich Koreans live here, man. I like Koreans. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot of rich Koreans, a lot of hot-looking Koreans walking around here, too. Because they got a deal where they can come here. They could come here, stay six months, take a flight back to Korea, and come back the next day. So they have a lot of businesses here, like Korean barbecue. So if you love Korean barbecue, this is the place to be, man. Do you like that? Do you like that food? Oh yeah, Korean barbecue is good. The, the soup shit, I'm not too much into their Korean soup. The Vietnamese soup is good. The pho and the utiu is good, but the Korean soup, I'm not. They got like the rib soup. I'm not into the rib soup. Man. But I no. tell you what, when that, that stuff where they bring the meat out and you grill it right on the table in front of you and they give you like five. Yeah, yeah, five. yeah. Korean barbecue. Yeah, that's some good shit, man. It's not that expensive either, man. You know, you're looking at if you want to really have a good spread, I mean like really splurge one day, you can go out like for twenty bucks, you can get that one. And I'm talking about the best of the best, man. Not Yeah, I, I don't I don't like short ribs. I, I just don't like bones. <laughs> yeah, well I like I like the, the pork with the pork ribs if, if they're cooked right where the, the meat falls right off of the fucking bone. That's good shit. One's barbecue. I've been eating a lot of that crispy pork though, like the pork belly with the crispy pork. That's cheap. That's only 120, so that's like uh uh, a little bit under five bucks, you get the, uh, a big thing like a pork chop sliced up with uh, with the rice and shit. It's great, good stuff, man. Yeah, I haven't had to take any uh, sugar medicine till just this week, cause I figured out I was getting these little uh, 
cafe lattes in the in the in the bottle from the store. And fuck, I didn't uh -huh. need a label. I was loaded with sugar. That's why my sugar went up because of that crap. Huh? Well, are you still drinking a lot of soda pop? Yeah, but it's diet. I think it's Coke Zero or Coke Light. All the swelling in my feet. When I first got here, my right foot was swelled up from holding the water and shit, you know. And then after I was uh, here for a month, I went to the Philippines, and then I came back. And I would say like less than a week that I was back here, all the swelling is gone in my feet. And it's not from the walking. It's from the food, man. Oh. The food's that good, man. You know, I did not take any fucking medicine here. I had to this week, but that's it. And now that I stopped drinking those coffees, I won't have to take it anymore. Yeah, you just got to be careful about um. Well, they don't put it in a they don't put it in a growth hormones like they do in the United States. You know, like the chickens, they raise them in a box and they shoot them up with drugs and shit. You know, all that that's not allowed here, man. In Russia, in Russia, they don't allow it, and they don't allow it here either. Okay. No growth hormones, man. That sandwich I got, it had like three big chunks of like grilled barbecued sausage on there. With, uh, yeah, I, I like I like I like um, um, I like Asian sausage, but it's like a yeah. breakfast sausage. Yeah, it was grilled up, grilled up sausage patties, yeah. three, three of them in there with the vegetables and uh, uh, two eggs, two eggs in the sandwich too, man. Only for a dollar. Yeah, I like eggs. Check out that video, I put, man. Check out that that short. It's only a short, man. Check it out, man. You'll see how good that fucking sandwich looks for a buck. Because I took, I bit it in half. I was eating, I was eating it. I waited till I was half done before I did the short. I posted on my community tab too. Like I was giving you all that information. You're my buddy. That's different through Messenger. I'll give you all the information you want. But all these people on YouTube, I get on, and I tell them. <laughs> Oh, you're going to save money doing this. You're going to save money. Then nobody gives a shit about nothing, man. No fucking donations for equipment and shit. I put a tab here. So if you want questions answered, 20 bucks. I'll, I'll get your email and I'll tell you two, yeah. two questions. I'll answer two questions for 20 bucks. Now, now, now you sound like the frog. No, I did that. I did that because uh, I want to become a, I want to become a millionaire like Jamie. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I, I want to be a millionaire like Jamie, man. So I can travel to, so I can travel to Bokolod and uh, Hong Kong to see my LDR, man. I'll send you a, a picture in the messenger if you promise not to share it out of these three these three chicks up in the lot today. The middle one's too young, but her sister that's sitting in front of her. Man, she's got the hot for me, man. That's good. Yeah, well, she's married, though. I told her, I said, you're oh. fucking married. She goes, but my husband's a drunk and he gambles. I go, we'll get a divorce and we'll hook up. The younger one, she won't be 18 until next year. So I can't, I was like, I can't, oh, talk with her. I, can't, I can't talk with her. I can talk with her. I just can't do nothing with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She call, I call her my daughter and she calls me old man. <laughs> you know, after and what do you? You know, laughed your ass off though. Uh, noon yesterday, if you was on Harriet's chat, man. Noon yesterday, your time. It's still up there, I think. If you want to check it out later, go check it out later. You got Shardy, you got uh, Jamie on there. Start trying to start shit with me, and then all of a sudden he got so pissed off he couldn't win. He dropped off, and then he came back later trying to fuck me off. You're nice to me. You know, hey, can I use my adapter over there? I said, I'm going to answer one more fucking question, and that's it. He goes, well, why are you being a wise I said, I'll tell you what. Read your fucking adapter. What does it say? He says, it says adapter. I go, read the fucking thing. I said, it should say 110 to 240, 50 hertz to 60 hertz. So what does that mean? That means you can use it in any country you go to. I said, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam, the plugs, you don't need an adapter, right? Because they got the round plugs and the, and the flat plugs. They got both of them. Hmm. So I answered, well, you know, and then he started sucking. Oh, well, we're, we're good now, right? I go, yeah, we're good. 
And then he goes, oh, well, <laughs> next time, next time I, I see something on your thing and I get some money, I'm going to send you a PayPal. I go, yeah, okay, we'll see. Yeah, right. Those are famous I hold, words. I won't hold my breath for that fucking one, you know. Yeah, Harriet was calling me when I showed her the picture of that girl in the Philippines, that Chinese girl, that Ling uh -huh. Ling. She, the girl behind her is a Filipina. She says, oh, that's a lady boy. I go, I ain't a fucking lady boy. And then she looked at it close. She goes, oh, yeah, you're right. And then uh, she started calling me. Up, oh, what? But you know how me and her get along. We get along really good, right? She says, you're a old pervert. You old fucking homeless man pervert. <laughs> she, she's fucking yelling at me in the chat. It was crazy. And and where where do you fly out of um, um, when you're in the U.S.? Chicago, O'Hare. Uh, so Billy I would Jack, have to go. Billy, Billy Jack's supposed to pick me up. I don't know if he'll be able to or not, but I got a high school buddy that can pick me up. If not, if not, I can catch the train. You know what the fuck? Hmm. I just gotta take that. I just gotta take that battery out of the car, take it to AutoZone, and have him charge it. And I, it's probably going to be fucked because it only got started one time, right? So it's under warranty. I have to give me a new one. Fuck. If not, if it charges, then I don't have to do that. Well, tell your brother to start it for you. Yeah, he started it one time. You know, he's a, he's older than me. Yeah. Yeah. Richard, Richard, tell your Filipina to take her hand out of your pants and come up on the panel, damn it. Well, he, he got his buddy over, over there, over at his house, and they're, they're having a few. Yeah, that's what I read in the chat. He's drinking beer there. Yeah. So they're, they're having a good time right now. Well, you should be cleared up by now. There should be nothing there now, right? No, they're still having... Yeah, it's like a, like a quarter moon right now. I mean, a quarter sun. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, quite a, quite a, uh, like halfway now. Where's, where's Tatanka? Oh, yeah, here's Tarzan. Hi, Richard. Eclipse, Eclipse of the Heart. I call him <laughs> Tatanka. That means buffalo, right? Tatanka. John, yeah. Yeah, but in, in uh, but in Lakota, in Lakota, that language Tatanka means buffalo. Uh-huh. So I was watching some history videos here just to waste some time for a while there. I found out all my relatives, the Choctaw, that they fought with the fucking uh they fought with the Americans against the British at the Battle of New Orleans. Oh, wow. I didn't know that shit. I know now. Yeah, history is very interesting. So you see any aliens coming out of the sky? Can you tell Kenjamin you saw some aliens coming down? <laughs> no, just, come, just coming off the bus. Yeah, he was... <laughs> He was talking in your chat about that shit. Do you think something's going to happen? Yeah, the sun's going to, the, the moon's going to go across the sun. That's what's going to fucking happen. Yeah, just coming off the bus. Look, and, and they got a whole bunch of tattoos. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you got there? You got about 75 degrees there today? Um, no, I think it's almost up to 80. Yeah, I heard it was going to be nice for then. It's going to get cool again. Then it's going to cool down. I hope it stays nice when I get back. Like, you figure what? Uh, let's see. Today is the ninth, so you figure ten, ten more days. I'll be back. So a week and three days. I leave on a Thursday. I get there on a Friday. This time when I stop in Japan, I'm gonna leave out of the airport and check out the check out the kabuchi the kabuchi girls. Hopefully I won't get yeah, seventy eight degrees right now. That's nice. That's perfect. That's perfect for me. Tomorrow here it's gonna be ninety nine. Ninety ninety. Yep, 99, almost 100. 
Nice. Frank's Lonely Horse, welcome to the chat. Oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? You you missed you missed the eclipse. Maybe you did. Don't depend on where you're located at. Yep. I still gotta make Popeye that video. I gotta take a picture of that anchor. There's a big, huge fucking anchor. I'm gonna say, why the hell did you guys leave your anchor here in District Seven? Hmm. It's about the size of an anchor off of a PT boat, you know? Okay. It's not small. It's pretty fucking big, you know? I'll get that in the morning, maybe. I know I'll get it before I leave. Yeah, I need some of them toys, man. I need them to donate to me so I can have some toys, do some good videos, man. Yeah. That one video I did when I was walking, I had to set the phone down. I was dropping money on the fucking ground and shit. Uh huh. Just think, just think, I do all that shit for you guys over there, man. I got no appreciation, man. I'm like Rodney Dangerfield, man. I get no I respect. I get no respect. I'm the homeless man. I give no respect. That's how it is, buddy. I know. As soon as I put that link to that tape, that tape uh, strip show, though, man, on the community tab, over 300 subs in a day, man. What the fuck? That's what they want to see. They want to see hot chicks, man. Of course, nobody wants to see what a dude looks like. Nobody they want, wants. They want. See, <laughs> nobody wants they to want see the pretty community. women. They don't want the Korean barbecue. They don't want none of that shit, man. They, they, no. They, they don't want to see banh mi sandwiches and shit, man. They want to see the hot women, man. That's what they want to see. You, you yeah, know we that. Could, we could come here for um. We could come here for like a month and then go to Thailand and then come right back, you know. Oh, uh, well, I want to go. I want to. I also want to go to um. Um, the next door neighbor of, of, of Vietnam. Cambodia or Laos? Yeah, Cambodia. Ah, right now it's not really that good, man. It's not that great, man. Have I you been it. there? Uh, yeah, well, I was there a few years ago, but uh, this, uh, this last year, you know, they're connected to the dollar now, so the prices are a little bit higher, man. It's about the same as Thailand, you know. But a uh, lot, lot, of, lot of crime going on there, man. The one guy posted a video the other day. He went to the massage parlor. They had false back lockers. They oh, quit going to the massage parlor. Not me. <laughs> this is some guy posted a video. He went there. That was that. He's from uh, my area up there. He's, uh, uh, what the hell is his name? His channel name? Expat Travels or something like that. And uh, hmm. he's, from, he's from up by Whiting, like where the refinery is at. And uh, he said they had a false back on the locker. He put his shit in there, and they took his $100 bills and put copies, copies of $100 bills back in his wallet. And he said he had to go back to rave and rant like he's going to start a fight and shit. You don't do that, man. You end up dead doing that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to love that I'm back in time for the NFL draft and the uh, Watch my White Sox lose about a hundred fucking games, and then, uh, you know, then I'll then I'll be ready to leave. You know? I hope the Bears don't draft that Caleb Williams fucking guy, man. I want him to take Bo Nix out of Oregon, man. That kid, that kid can play football, man. <laughs> Frank, please go stare at the sun. <laughs> That's funny. That's green newbie. Green newbie put that down there. Yeah. 
I like I like it when they argue in the ch- if you're in Harriet's chat, like I said at noon, you they had a fucking laugh, man. Especially when this guy was telling his story about meeting his LDR over there and how much money it cost him. And I told him I said, it only cost me three hundred and fifty pesos to get to my hotel. They let me check in early. I said within fifteen minutes I had two hookers propositioning me for two thousand pesos. I said, so I said, fuck no, I don't want it. I went down to Starbucks. I came back. I said that night I went up to the rooftop bar, took the girl in the uh, co-ed bathroom. They got a co-ed bathroom up there. Got a BJ in the bathroom stall. I said for three tandoi ices. They said how much was three tandoi ices? I said 140 pesos, man. Wow. Well, you know, some of these guys, they simp hard, man. They, they, you know, they don't try to use any game. They just try to get it right away, you know. And they, it's, it's like, that's what's wrong with the Philippines. I like the Philippines. But what it is, is they want their money because of the, the V. I'll, I won't say the word. I'll say that. But because of the V, they lost all that money. And it's like, I want my money now. I want to get it now. I don't want to wait to get it back a little at a time. I want it all back now. That's why it's so high prices over there, man. From November to February, the prices jumped 33%, man. 33% inflation in like what? Less than two and a half months? I want my money, huh? They want it now. And like give me, give me. And like regular guys, they just don't care, you know? I like the regular guy. Yeah, well, like his, he needs to make them T-shirts. They just don't care. Well, I got 10,000 views on that short with two Filipinos sitting on the steps not doing their job. I titled it in uh, Filipino. They just don't care. Wala silang wapakialam. Right? And I put that up 10,000 hits in like one day. Even the ads came, put a comment on it. She said, yeah, they're watching on their phones when they should be working. You know? I like the ads. Yeah. And she She's said, a good girl. She said, oh, they're looking at the phones when they should be working. And she put that laughing signs on there. Yeah. See, I show real shit, man. I, you know, I'm not going to go to a bar and pay girls to sit with me. And, you know, that's what most guys do. They go to bars and pay girls to sit with them and act like they're their girlfriends and shit and stuff, you know, like like Ricky had that apple living with him. You know, he was paying her probably about 25,000 pesos a month just to live with him. Well, Apple seems like a nice person. Yeah, but, you know, if they're hard up for money, man, you know, them backpackers, man, you tell them, hey, I'll throw you a hundred bucks help me out here, I'll help you out, right, you know. That way you don't have to worry about running to the pharmacy and get the the 200 cc's of Rocephin and a Z-Pack you know, after you're done. <laughs> so how much go, go get really a come? Go yeah, get a vitamin it. shot. Not a, not a vitamin shot, but an antibiotic, man. Rocephin. Oh, I, I don't know what that is. That's some strong antibiotics. You get a shot of Rocephin and, some, and a Z-Pack. Is this Romycin? You take that shit to clear it right up, man. Clear what up? The the what? gonor the Drip, gonorrhea the, the chlamydia gonorrhea syphilis whatever you got to get rid of it all, man. Huh? Are, are you are you talking from experience or just from hearsay? Of course, of course. I told you, I've admitted to you before. I had to clap like five fucking times, man. I admitted to you. I, I got it once from when I was young. Yeah, yeah I, that, that was. <laughs> I, I told you guys this. I, I told you guys this. And um, I, I got it from an Eskimo girl. Um, I got, uh, she was from, from the village. I, I was bouncing in Anchorage when I was real young. And she told me, uh, I, got, I got to clap. And I said, oh, that's okay. I'll just go t- I'll take a shower. I'll take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That'd get rid of that. My, my, you- my, 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 I was working in a Korean um um bar, 
and and the, and and the owner is is a um, half Korean. Her mom, his mom is Korean, and his father is Irish. Um, and 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 um, his, his the the own the owner uh, the the um, he he he's my he's my age then uh -huh. well now still and he um um the the um the the bartender his his um. Uh, her husband works on on the base on Elmendorf, um, Air Force Base, and uh -huh. he he went he went and got me some um, penicillin and and a bottle of it, and he told me take two um, until it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta drink two full two two full bottles of that shit. The liquid penicillin, you gotta drink two full bottles. Oh no, I I uh, mine mine were pills. Oh yeah, well. You <laughs> You can take the liquid. You can take the liquid and drink like a full bottle down, and then take pills afterwards. You know. Oh well, I like I said, this was back in the eighties. Well, that's man. just that's that's just for the clap, though. But if you got like chlamydia yeah. or some shit, you no, need. No, mine, mine was just a clap. I bet you. Just I, I, I never it. had it before, and, and and I said, "Damn, my dick feels funny," and I squeezed it, and the shit came out. And I told my boss, my her husband, um, the the Korean lady, and I told her husband. He laughed at me. <laughs> I, I I had it so bad. I had to whack my I had to whack my I had to whack my dick with a rubber mallet to get all that scar tissue out, man. Oh fuck! Surgery, <laughs> Sur self surgery, man. Whack your dick oh. with a rubber mallet. And fucking when you take a piss, it feels like you're gonna start a fire, right? No, I never had it that bad because I, 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 he, well, he helped. They helped me out real quick. Yeah, you caught it, caught it right away. If you, if you don't catch yeah. it right away, if you don't catch it right away, it'll be like you're pissing fire, man. Yeah, because she, like I said, the girl told me, um, and she was beautiful, and she told me th that she had it, and then I, I told her I'll just take a shower when I get done. <laughs> well, that was my, that was that was that was mighty white of her mm. to tell you. Yeah. Oh shit! Those were the good old days. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta watch out. Though. Now you gotta watch out though, because now you can get stuff that you get and you fucking can't get rid of it and you die. You know, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I mean, I'm not that. I'm not that. That hard up to hurry up and go get get go out and get some. Well, that's as good about the Vietnamese girls, you know. They're not that. They're not that easy, you know. How do you say the word "polit"? Polit? Yes, I can't say the word correctly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, yeah, but they're more conservative, you know. The women here. There you, you go, Conser conservative. You got to date them for a while before you get some, you know. And then the the ones you want to hit. Hi, quick, girls. Yeah. They work in a massage part. Thai girls, you go to massage for 50 bucks. Vietnam, it's 40 bucks. Oh, how about Philippines? Philippines, they offered me right away. They're walking out in the daytime, 9 30 a.m., 2,000 pesos. So, what the fuck is 2,000 pesos? That's like uh, uh, two for 40 dollars. Yeah, for same price, 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. But these were street girls, street hoes. Oh, like freelancers. Yep. Walking down uh, Kalyan, right by the corner of Kalyan and Pete Burgos, man, 9.30 in the morning. Hmm. I hadn't been in the Philippines probably, except for the airport. When I got to the hotel, I hadn't been at the hotel more than 15 minutes before I started walking down the street and I got propositioned. But. We're gonna to have to go to your old hangout if when you get cleared up that you can get in there. You know, we gotta to go to your old hangout, Elo Elo. I was there one day, it was pretty fucking nice. It's pretty it's built it up. It is. It's built up pretty nice now. We yeah, I've been visit. gone for almost ten years now. Yeah, we gotta go visit old Ed. We gotta go visit Ed down there, man. Yeah, Ed, Ed is over by Bacolid, over, yeah, well, over yeah. towards where Jerry lives. Yeah, well, you take the ferry. I took the ferry across from Ilo Ilo to Bacola, right? And I, I stayed there for a couple of days, and I was thinking, should I go visit him? But that was when his wife was in the hospital. I said, nah, I better not. Oh. So I ended up going to uh, uh, Shirgao, 
And I should have went to Secure. I want to check out Secure, you know. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Barry was over there. In Secure? I, I believe so. Well, Secure is where uh, Lady E's from. She's from uh, Secure. There's a hostel there, a really nice bed and breakfast place, man. It's only like four bucks a day. It's called the Tag Malayan. Tag Malayan Guest House. Man. And now we got a quarter moon left. Oh, it's still happening? Yeah, it's, it takes a long time for it to move. Not not like it. I mean, yeah, it, it's... Maybe maybe because they say the moon is feels like it's closer to the to the earth. Yeah. Well, it's in between the earth and the sun. Yeah. You could do like yeah, very did. very very fascinating. You can do like Columbus did. If you know one's coming, you can tell everybody, "Hey, woman, get down on your knees and start praying to me because I'm going to make the sun disappear." <laughs> I'm going to make the sun turn like blood and disappear. And I get all freaked out and start praying to you. Yeah, they they sure they sure fooled a lot of people back then. Oh, that's how Columbus got the Indians down there in, uh, in the islands to, to bring them food and shit. Man. Well, if plus you they didn't, they didn't um, see that kind of stuff before. Um, White uh, man, the ships, the seals. Oh, oh, Tatanka spelled it wrong, but he put it here. Uh, clam, clamity, it's it's chlamydia. Can have arthritis attached to it. So if you catch arthritis from having sex, <laughs> yeah, you got to have antibiotics to get over it. Uh, shot a recephin and uh, I shot 200 cc's of recephin and a Z pack. Well, definitely. Not the airplanes up. flying around. I like the helicopter. One of those bubble helicopters. Well, as long as it's not a Chinese balloon, we're okay, right? <laughs> so what's the consensus in Kentucky about the presidential race? Uh Kentucky is all is all Trump country. Okay. Nobody nobody uh Backsliding towards uh, Kennedy? No. No. 100% Trump. Good, good. That's why I'm, that's another reason I'm coming back too, so I can do my early voting, man. That's going to make a difference, buddy. Yeah, well, people think it's going to be a landslide and they're not going to go out and vote. People got to get out and vote, man. They can't just take it for granted. Oh, Trump's going to win. Fuck it. I'm not going to vote, you know, because then that, that'll screw shit up. They got to get out and vote. Man. What I like now is that all those, uh, all the blacks, they're not falling for the Democratic uh, bullshit anymore, man. They're starting to wake up. You even yeah. got that one, uh, you got that one group, Blacks for Trump even, right? Yeah, that's good. That's the only thing I'm worried about when I land at O'Hare. Am I going to have to step over migrants going to the fucking road? To hmm. my car back yeah, you are. They're oy everywhere. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, if they were legal, it'd be okay. They caught that one guy in North Carolina. He's supposed to be, uh, he's from Yemen. He's on the criminal watch list. And the government wouldn't even tell the sheriff from that fucking county where he got arrested at why he's on the criminal watch list. That's some stupid shit, you know. Well, Philip, I'm going to let you go. Our neighbor is mowing their lawn. He just started up the lawnmower. No, I just checked in because, like I said, I was checking my analytics and I saw you went live, so I said, fuck it, I'm going to jump on. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Thanks well, for yeah, hanging out with us. If you plan on leaving around the end of September, maybe we can all fucking fly out together, you know? What the fuck? Save on expenses. Yeah, that'd be... we'll, get them, we'll get them hotel rooms with the two beds in the room, right? So you don't have to sleep with uh, 
with me behind you, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, split the prices, right? What the fuck? Why not? Save more money. Yeah. You 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 gonna go to the lot or are you gonna go to Denang? Uh I think uh I get here, I think I'll go straight to uh Nachang first. I think they maybe fly out of Ho Chi Minh to uh Cameron, Cameron Airport, right? Go to Nachang and then take a, a, a van from there to the lot, you know. Huh. <laughs> The Tonka said spooning joke. Yeah, that's right, spooning. Me and Kev can be spooning, right? Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, Kev, you have a great day, man. All Enjoy right, well, thanks for hanging out with us. Enjoy the weather because I heard it's supposed to cool off again for a while. Yeah, it's supposed to rain um, later on. Uh, later on this week. Last night we had some heavy thunder thunderstorms. Glad it, glad it cleared up today. Okay, I'll talk to you later, man. You have a great day, okay? All right, Phil. Thanks for coming on. Adios, peeps. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Have a good night. Yeah, you guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for hanging out with us. Had a, had a very interesting experience. Uh, Philip, uh, Tarzan, Mr. Green. All you, all you guys, Frank's Lonely Horse, haven't seen you for a long time. I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, hope hope um, Pennsylvania Truck is doing good, driving his truck and rig and everything. Hope all you guys are being safe. Man, beautiful day out today. Glad, glad the um, solar eclipse didn't, didn't mess up nobody. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you guys. Very, very successful eclipse. The the earth, the earth didn't collapse. No, nothing bad happened. At least here. But yeah, you guys. Thank you guys for coming out and thanks for hanging out with us. Eat, drink, and be merry. Well, tomorrow you don't know what's going to happen. So live, live life to the fullest. Don't, don't let the little things and the naysayers bring you down. Everybody has enough problems. You don't need little things to bring you, bring you down and stuff. Again, just just live live life to to the best you can. All right, you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good have a good week. Beautiful day out today. Very very beautiful. Let you take a peek. Oh. Uh. Of our of our surroundings, but yeah, nice looking day out today. Yeah, nice out today. All right, you guys.
not not sure what the Let me let me take a peek. What what is the rear camera look like? <laughs> 